Cordoba is famous for having the most beautiful interior courtyards in Spain, where they are called patios. Each year, the Andalusian city gears up for its annual patio festival. Local resident Rafael Cordoba is among those taking part. He's putting the finishing touches on the flower pots and sprucing up the plants on his patio. I have 400 flower pots, so that's a lot of wilted leaves to remove. When you're not busy watering, you're applying fertilizer or paint. This house is very old, from the 16th century. Araceli Lopez is also doing some last-minute tidying up before the visitor starts streaming in. She shows us her trusted and traditional watering system, a long stick and a tin can. Araceli bought this property just a little while ago. We decided to buy the house so that we could preserve this old patio. It's at least 350 years old. Courtyards in Cordoba date back to Roman times. Designed to provide houses with a cool refuge from the heat, the tradition was continued by the Moors, who built the great mosque and now cathedral, and left a lasting impact on local architecture, despite the city returning to Christian rule in 1236. The colors and scents came with the Arabs. They loved these vertical gardens, but wanted to keep them to themselves. They closed the doors and enjoyed their patios. Most of the city's 4,000 courtyards are still closed today. But around 60 open up to visitors during the 14-day festival. It means long queues outside homes like Rafael Cordoba's, but the wait is well worth it. Very beautiful. We're here for the first time and we like it, though we've only seen three or four. I didn't expect it to be this nice. It's rather unique. You really have to be in the patios to understand the colors, the scents and the light. Wonderful. Not just locals and tourists visit the courtyards. The festival is also a contest and so a judging panel stops by to cast their votes for the best patios. There are different categories for historical patios and more contemporary ones. Every year, close to 50 courtyards take part in the competition. This time, one of the judges is a biologist. For her, it's about more than just the lovely colors. Of course, the variety of flowers plays a role, but it's the atmosphere that really matters. The water, the music, and what we can smell as we come in. It's all about that initial emotion. The first Courtyards Festival was celebrated in 1918. It dates back to a time when large single-family villas were turned into multi-family homes. The rooms were so small that people spent a lot of time in the courtyards. Residents would decorate their entrances, painting the flower pots as they liked. And because it was particularly delightful in the spring, they decided to open their doors to visitors so they could see all the beauty on display. The crowds have been coming ever since. Locals like Rafael make a huge effort to make their prized patios even more beautiful to win over the judges. He's won countless awards, but his real motivation is the memories. There were flowers here when I was a child. But my grandparents have since died, so I want to keep their memory alive in the patio and the flowers. Every year, people come from far and wide to witness a unique spectacle as the courtyards of Cordoba spring into bloom.